Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Megan Nunez of FanDuel. We're here to break down the final four. What's going on, Megan? I'm just talking a little college basketball while I wait on MLB opening day. It is a wild day already in college basketball. Roy Williams retiring, Chris Beard headed to Texas, and well, there's been no games yet. Well, that's on Saturday, so we'll begin with Baylor and Houston. This Battle of Texas has Baylor as five-point favorites. Baylor and Gonzaga have been the best two teams all year, and you believe Baylor will make it to that final game. You like Baylor to cover the points here. They are five-point favorite right now over at the FanDuel Sportsbook. So, yeah, this Houston team is super gritty, and they have a lot of veterans, but I feel like their road to the Final Four um, was not as bumpy as I say um, Baylor's was. I mean, they had Cleveland State. They struggled against Rutgers. They had a great win over Syracuse, but then almost gave up 17 points to Oregon State. And from what I've seen, none of those teams are anything like Baylor. Baylor is just a different monster here. Um, Baylor obviously had to knock off Whiskey, Nova, and Arkansas. Um, they are, I think, three and five against the spread in their last four games. Um, and I really think that they're the deeper team. They're a step up in class. Um, and I think that the Baylor Bears get it done here and cover the five, especially as the best three-point shooting team in the nation. It's been a wild couple of games here for Houston, right? You can make the case that they should have lost to Rutgers, had this big lead, uh, almost blew against Oregon State. Baylor, after getting down, obviously uh, blew blew their way into the Final Four. Um, they have been the better team for most of the season, and although Houston, of course, has been good. Baylor, according to you, Megan, gets the job done and covers the five points. But who will Baylor face in the final game of this NCAA tournament? Well, you believe it's the best team in college basketball. That is Gonzaga. We were just talking about how you bet against UCLA in every game in this tournament. It hasn't worked out quite yet. The Zags are a 14-point favorite, but you're going to do it again. I'm laying a lot of chalk with uh, the Zags here, but as I said, I've bet against UCLA this whole time, and I, that trend is bound to break. Um, the Zags have just been a completely different monster in this tournament. Uh, every game, I believe they've covered the spread, the 4-0 against the spread. Um, and UCLA is literally just clawing their way through this tournament and they're grinding their way. Respect to them and the Pac-12 because I haven't given them much respect, so there that is. But now their respect has gotten them to play Gonzaga. And, well, they have shown that they can play good teams with back-to-back -back wins over Bama and Michigan. Zags aren't a good team. They're a great team. And I don't know if UCLA is going to be able to keep up with this team um, UCLA, their defense is great, but the Zags are good equally on both sides of the ball. I think that they're definitely going to uh, give UCLA the taste of the loss that they really have not really gotten this tournament thus far. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay all the talk with the Zags. I think that we haven't seen their full potential and they're really, really waiting to show us for that final game. And I think it's going to be against Baylor. Gonzaga hasn't shown us their, fi their full potential yet. Well, uh, UCLA is in for one heck of a game here uh, on Saturday evening because Gonzaga has been awesome all season long, awesome in this tournament, and you believe that they're going to blow UCLA out of the water. They are 14-point favorites. They have just dominated this tournament. As you said, they're not a good team. They are a fantastic team. We'll see if Gonzaga can cover the 14 again, this time against UCLA. But that's not the only part of this game that you're betting on, Megan, because you want to look at the total. Gonzaga, of course, an excellent defensive team. And UCLA has struggled uh, offensively. They're also a good defensive team, uh, coached by Mick Cronin, who prides himself on his defense, of course, coming from Cincinnati. He's used to winning these 50 or 47 games, and with both defenses being good, you like the under here at 145 and a half. I really do. Um... So obviously UCLA to get to this point, their defense has been on point and Gonzaga, as I said, is just as good on one side of the ball as they are the other. Um, UCLA would have gone under all four tournament games. The only game they didn't was that overtime game against Bama. Um, the Zags have gone three and four um, hitting under the number. So I think this is going to be a defensive grind. I think UCLA is really going to try to hang in there as much as possible. But I think at the end, the Zags will pull away. We'll stay under the 140, 145 and a half, and we'll also cover the 14 with the Zags. UCLA, as you mentioned, going under in each game other than the overtime thriller against Alabama. Gonzaga and UCLA both have these strong defenses. We'll see if they can keep the number low, or at least low enough, so it's under 145 and a half when it's all said and done. 
That's going to do it for us here in the FanDuel Hurry Up. Megan, we appreciate the time. Enjoy the Final Four this weekend. Thank you so much, y'all, too, and uh, let's, let's win some money. I love winning money, so we can make that happen, we hope. Tomorrow on the program, Tom Becky will join me as we take a look at some DFS plays for Friday night on the NBA slate. For Megan Nunez, I'm Greg Sussman. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy opening day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.